What's cracking, Pippin Ken? I'm Basin Mental. Real name is Epps. We got another video. And if you know what happened yesterday at the U.S. Capitol, I'm sorry for anyone who feels the way I feel right now. Because we're seeing it again. For what, 427 years now? This is the very thing Black Lives Matter was talking about. At least it was originally. Just look at the difference between the protests. Black Lives Matter came armed with cardboard. With written, written words. And a large group of people all trying to say, we matter. This one, this whole group is rallied around one loser who got kicked out of office. Well, not kicked out. He got run out because the voting, essentially, he's... And all these people rally behind him. Someone who incites all the things America isn't supposed to be about. And nothing happens and let me be very clear if you in any way shape or form believe what happened yesterday was right don't follow me don't subscribe to me I'll do better without you because <laughs> wow Absolutely nothing. That was my phone going off. Nothing happened. Yet, there was a black woman who lost her life because of assumed drugs she possessed. And the wall got more justice than she did. Hmm. I wonder if everything would have been registered the same had Breonna Taylor won her case. Would they have rioted then? I still want justice for Breonna Taylor. And it hurt me to my core. She never got it. And I can't help but recognize that all the same things they were doing to Black Lives Matter protests they did not do to them. And their intention was to riot. They came out in droves, armed, and had a... There was... Mm, there was a standoff of people with weapons. At least four people died in all of this. And nothing happened to them. We, Black Lives Matter had people put, had people who joined to riot and people who were planted to cause riot. This entire group was planning on rioting to hold the Capitol hostage because of Trump. And that's okay. It's just, I can't get over that. If it looked like more people in that group were like me it would have been a genocide. Because of what they look like, right? They're not, they're not horrible people. They're just protesting. Yet you're stealing, rioting, killing people. Nothing happened. Literally let into the building. We trying to rock, the, Black Lives Matter trying to walk the streets. Blocked off at every section. Forced to go home. Military sicked on them. And I can't help but not feel surprised. Like, I'm not surprised at all. I'm just whelmed. 
I remember seeing video at the video of protesters with injuries from doing absolutely nothing. Like there's a video or picture going around the internet of a black girl standing in front of the cops in a, in a flowy uh, like grass green colored dress. And the cops are in SWAT uniforms running towards her, grabbing her. But we didn't see any of that at this riot. <laughs> and people wonder why everyone says it's hard to be black in America. This doesn't surprise me at all. Literally, most black people are like, I saw this coming. When Obama was elected. Now that there's a female vice president, there's a white riot. Oh, I'm sorry, let me be more specific. Now that there's a female black vice president, there's a riot. Oh, and not, let's not forget the cops let them in. Pictures were being taken with the rioters by the cops and security guarding the building. And the part that pisses me off the most, literally the most, is that after it was all done, black people were cleaning it up. And I wonder how many people missed that detail. Because in my opinion, black people have done that the entire time of being in America. Literally the entire time. Yet we can't admit that. And the media still decides to call them protesters. And the police there, heroes. I'm sorry. Um, in my understanding of cops, their job was to protect the Capitol building. They let people in. That's the exact opposite of a hero. A hero, essentially, in my definition of a hero, is essentially someone who refuses to sit by while wrong is being done. There were a lot of heroes sitting by while a lot of wrong was being done. And when a lot of right was being done, they were shooting at them. So I, I don't mean to depress anyone, but maybe it's time to sit back and look at what we think this country is and realize that in reality, this is America. They got you slipping up. Not me. <laughs> Virtually anyone who looks like me ain't slipping up either. Saw it coming 12 years ago. But maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just that black person looking for an excuse to say white people did this. But... It's more than just black people seeing the problem now. And because of that, there's no real running away from it. I guess this tearing down of the golden, golden statue or golden crown of America really got white people shook. Or well, these Trump-based white people. Oh, and essentially anything human is political, so... And it got Republicans shook, because if I'm not wrong, majority of that group was Republican. And I say all of that to say... Biden and Kamala... You have a lot of work to do when y'all get in the office. I don't know how you gonna do it. I don't know how you gonna pull it off. Prayers and blessings and wishes to you. Sucks this happened when you won your campaign. But at the same time, again, not surprised that a build a, a riot a group of rioters will get more justice than one woman who was killed incorrectly. Well no, one woman who was killed in unjustly. And it really sucks that she was killed unjustly. 
the wall got more covered than she did. And it still feels like I would get it the worst if I was one of the people down at that right. Every person looking at that, looking what, what was happening, have been saying, had that been a group of color, it would have been a genocide. And I just can't help but recognize that if you look at the state of America and majority of the black population, majority black male population in jail or dead, wonder why it's so hard to do anything anymore. It feels like it's pointless because no matter how hard we try, at the end of the day, no matter how many accolades we reach, no matter how many levels we get to, according to what happened yesterday, at the end of the day, if you look like me, you're still a nigga. And unfortunately, this is America. I'm your favorite entrepreneur, Basin Mental. I had to cut this video together. This is my third time trying it to say what I need to say to move on, but that's the video. It was meant to tell the truth, get what I needed to get off my chest so I can keep making video content. And hopefully, You'll drop a comment um, saying what you thought about it. And I know this is opening up a whole lot of floodgates. Please be respectful. If you can't, don't comment, don't subscribe, don't watch the video.